We're going live. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I just did like my whole speech as if I was live because I thought I was live this entire time. Lol. My bad. Hello, everyone. Hopefully you caught that awkward part of me headbanging at the beginning of there because I thought I was already live. Good job, professional YouTuber over here. Uh, real quick, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to those of you who have already submitted your music. We got quite a few cool things coming up. We got something from Killstreak, Somber Skies, Jordan Starter, Frontiers, and Mankind Grief on the docket. But, of course, you're still welcome to submit, so get your submission in. Uh, the rules are in the pinned comment and also right here. Um, so if you've never seen one of my streams before, what I like to do is basically show you all the music that I've been listening to over the past couple months. So I'm going to show you two songs. Uh, I also like to show off a little bit of the stuff I've got in progress in the background that I haven't been able to post yet, uh, which is why this stream is a couple days late. I've been really busy working on like new Carcosa stuff, as well as uh, other videos for my channel. So I've been hella busy, but it's all good stuff and I'm excited about all of it. Um, but yeah. With that being said, hello, everyone. We are The Resistance, Justice, Natalie, Richard. What's up, Justice? Did I already say Justice? I probably did. Jordan, <laughs> Vazilla, thank you all for joining. Much appreciated. Um, so the first song I want to show you all is the brand new song from Counterparts. This song is called Unwavering Vow. It just came out like two days ago. Counterparts are fucking awesome. Super, super good band. I've listened to them for a long time. I haven't really done any content about them on my page, uh, because it's a little bit different than the style of music that I usually cover. But I really, really like this band, uh, and their new song is fucking awesome. Just wait, just wait until you hear that lead in the chorus. It fucking slaps. It sounds like this. What's up, Ryan? What's up, Gaming with Ty? How's it going, Somber Skies? Let's go. Hey, thanks for joining Sergeant Cat Scan. Listen to this lead that's coming up. Chef's Kiss. So catchy. That hook, man. Ooh. What's up, Frank? How's it going? Try not to headbang, like, come on. What's up, Loser Town? You love this? Hell yeah. I'm glad you like the song. And yeah, no singing required. Let that guitar do the melody, man. Beautiful. Aw, oh, shit. You know time it is. Beautiful. Fucking love it. I cannot wait for this whole album to come out. It's gonna be so good. If you guys have never listened to Counterparts before, do yourself a favor. They're fucking awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna find that album real quick because I was trying to talk about it, but I forgot the name. 
because I'm a terrible, terrible small brain power person. Counterparts, where are you? Okay, so if you've never heard Counterparts before, where is it? This one. Listen to this album all the way through every fucking song. The album's called The Difference Between Hell and Home. Amazing, amazing album. Every fucking song on this album is insane, and you should definitely listen to it. Uh, if you liked, you know, the song I just played, that is. Uh, Drop C, baby. Hell yeah. Drop C is still king for metalcore. Uh, what else we got here? Last time you saw Brendan Murphy, he was smoking a cig by the taco truck at So What last weekend. Oh, fuck yeah. So What looks so fun. I wish I was there. <laughs> uh, Mopar, Val Oceano District of Misery. Love that song, uh, but this is uh, not quite what that stream is about. I did just cover District of Misery with Adam Warren from Oceano, which was trippy as fuck. I basically got to re-record that song for the guy who wrote that song, which was super fucking cool. Weird experience. But it was sick. You should check it out on his Instagram. Um, okay. You can't, you can't count how many times you've listened to that album with a masterpiece. Yes, I'm glad someone else agrees. Fuck yeah. Uh, can I make the music louder? Yes, I can. Let me know if uh, this is too loud. Just turned up a tiny bit. Grant, thanks for the donation. And yes, counterparts fucks. <laughs> um, all right. Next up, I'm going to show you guys a preview. We're not going to listen to the whole thing, just a little bit. This is uh, something from a video that I will be putting out probably on Saturday with Jeff Plays Guitar. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with him, basically what we do is we take video game soundtracks and convert them into Doom Eternal style songs. Uh, Jeff is a master at this, and every once in a while I'm fortunate enough to be able to join him on it. So we did one for Metal Gear Rising. I'm going to show you like a minute of that. And then we're going to move on to one of your guys' bands in just a sec here. So this is what it sounds like. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Tease you right there. We'll stop at the guitar solo. Uh, but yeah, so that's coming out on Saturday. Jeff plays guitars in the chat right now. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, go check him out. He is fucking incredible at what he does, and I'm always so happy to work with him. It's always fun, and I think we always come up with really cool shit. So stay tuned to either my channel or Jeff's channel, or even better, both of us, and you'll see that on Saturday. Um, do do do. What do we got here? Post grunge with eight string guitars is way better than you imagine. Hell yeah. Uh, music is louder. I, man, I feel like the music was too loud there, but let me know what you guys think. Sergeant Cascan, that's fucking wicked. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. That was sexy. Love it. Love it. Um, okay. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do one of your guys' suggestions. Uh, I saw somebody asking for a Carcosa preview. I don't know. We'll see. Johnny will probably fucking kill me if I do that, but, uh, maybe. Maybe in a bit. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but... Next up, we're going on to the first of your guys' music. This one comes from Talent Scout Reacts, a.k.a. Ryan Katz, uh, with his new band, Killstreak. The song is called No Scope, and they said... Uh, okay, so it's a new band, or a new deathcore band, rather, and each song is about a different video game. This one is about Call of Duty, so let's take a listen to that. 
I know I checked out your last band, so I'm looking forward to hearing how you changed it up, because this is like, is this all new people? Are you working with any of the same members? Let me know if you're in the chat. Uh, music volume is perfect. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Kill streak, no scope. Let's go. Nuketown, USA. Hell yeah. With the 1056 hoodie. Hell yeah. All new people. Gotcha. Let's see what you got. The broadcast is quiet at this time for your safety. Nice. Gotta love a sample intro. Ooh. You know the key to my heart is squeal noises. Let's go. Yeah, your vocalist is giving me mad spite vibes. Step, baby. Let's go. Nice. Ooh. Yes. I think it's your vocalist um, stage presence reminds me of Darius from Spite the Most. Not necessarily his vocals. Uh, I guess some of it. I don't know. Definitely channeling some Spite in there. I love it. You said that. Other people said that too. I can see why. Yeah, like that part. Ooh. Do the build up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. It is the hair. It is the hair. I agree. Nice. Yep. That's what I wanted. <laughs> all right, all right. They go low, low. That was sick. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. I definitely prefer this over the last band submission that you sent in. I guess it was probably quite a while ago now, but yeah, <laughs> this was sick. Uh, the idea for being different video game per per song is really cool. I'm very curious like how that's gonna uh, work out. Definitely looking forward to hearing more from you guys. And yeah, like I don't mean the uh, spite thing to be like an insult or anything like that. I fucking love spite, so that's a huge compliment if anything. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I don't know, it was cool. It had everything I wanted. It had the, the high-pitched squeaky noises that I like, had the breeze, had the breakdowns, had the zeros. I like it. I fucking like it. I have no critiques. That was great. Nice, short, and sweet, to the point. Had the breakdowns, had everything I wanted. Fuck yeah, that was great. Seriously, good job, man. Awesome. Um, do 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 
Jeff says he went back and replayed a bunch of that bunch of parts of that song now. Oh uh, yeah. Um Zell, who composed this? Yeah, so he is in the chat. It is uh Talent Scout Reacts is the one who submitted this song. And the band once again, Kill Streak, no scope. Uh okay. So next, before we move on to the next one, I'm gonna go back and show you another my second suggestion of the month for stuff that I've been listening to. This band is called Body Snatcher. You might have heard of them already. Uh, they're a little bigger. Uh, but their new album came out like a month ago, and it's really, really fucking good. Just ridiculously heavy. I think you guys will like it. So we're going to listen to this and then move on to Somber Skies Official right after this. Once again, this song coming up is Body Snatcher Behind the Crowd. Let's go. I would provide you links if I could, but YouTube doesn't let me, unfortunately. It blocks that shit. Chris Davis, he won't react to one more slice. Oh shit. Never forget. Never forget. I miss you, Chris. Just so unnecessarily hard. Oh, so fucking good. If you guys ever get the chance to see this band live, go do it. I just watched them a couple weeks ago live here. So fucking good. Somber skies, don't you worry. You'll follow them up just fine. Fucking nasty. One more. One more. Let's go. that's it that is body snatcher hopefully you guys enjoyed that again definitely go check out the rest of their shit their new album came out like a month ago and it it's really fucking good you guys will like it if you like breakdowns you know what i mean um all right next up we're going back to your guys' suggestions for the rest of the stream so next up we got somber skies official uh with malevolence uh what did they say about the song they say self-produced two-piece band from new york uh, their next single release is on June 10th, and it brings the heavy. All right, so they got a new song in about a week. So if you like this, there will be more soon. Um, okay, let's take a listen. Uh, to, 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 what else we got here? This riff reminds me. This riff reminds you of your first divorce. Fair enough. That shit does sound pretty heavy. <laughs> All right, let's go.
not the vocals I was expecting. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like currents or something like that. Back to the intro roof, alright. Yeah, Steve, I agree. The chorus was awesome. Or sorry, that was Randy, not Steve. My bad. Yeah, Adam, I agree. I'm also feeling like it's it's a little slow or something. I'm not sure. Like, it sounds like the tempo got slower during the chorus. Maybe I'm tripping. This part's cool. Um, yeah, overall, it had some cool ideas. The two things that I would say about it was, for some reason, it sounded like the tempo slowed down during the chorus, and, like, I don't know if that was just a, an, an illusion because of the, the feel of that section or if the tempo was actually dropping, but that, to me, was a little strange. I really wish the chorus was, like, a little bit faster. Um, I think that would have just, like, totally changed the vibe of the song. Uh, and then also, I think Tyler was saying as well uh, that the intro was a little longer than I would have liked as well, like just to get into the song a little faster. And then, yeah, I'm not a fan of a fade out either, <laughs> but that's just a personal preference. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. Uh, yeah. The other thing, too, I noticed, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to diss or anything, but the intro sample was like way louder than the actual song. So it felt a little weird that like the intro was louder and then it dropped and then the song started, you know what I mean? Like this part was way louder than the actual song. So it was a little weird when the sample finished and the song started because it sounded like it was building into something, but then the volume dropped. So that buildup kind of lost its effect, if you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, those are my, my critiques for you. Do with them what you will. Uh, you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. I'm just some asshole on the internet. Um, but yeah, that's what I think. 
what do we got next? Okay, next up we got Jordan Sarder Alpha featuring Taylor Barber. Ooh, I know that boy. All right, so if you're not familiar with Taylor Barber, he is the vocalist of a deathcore band called Left to Suffer, who are awesome. And if you haven't checked them out, you should. But he also mentioned a little bit earlier, I remember, uh, Jordan, you said that Taylor is singing in this song, which is interesting. So Taylor's obviously known more for his like brutal deathcore vocals, but he does also sing really well in his solo project, which I think is called Phone Booth. So I'm curious, I'm curious to hear this. Let's hear it. Jordan Sarder, Alpha. Oh. And screaming, okay. <laughs> I thought you got him to just do a singing feature. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So are all the vocals Taylor then? Let me know in the comments. I really like this part with, with the vocal harmony in there in the background. Sounds dope. Most of them are you. Okay, I gotcha. Nice simple lead over the chorus. Skip the singularity thinks there needs to be more vocals in the chorus. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. We'll hear when it comes back. I do really love all the uh, vocal layering and effects that you're doing during these verse parts, though. Yeah, I really like your lead work, man. Not crazy leads, but super melodic and they help fill it out real nice. Also great guitar tone. Trap hats. Ah, uh, there's the boy. Another awesome lead there.
Nice. Blending the chorus with a new vocal line. Fuck yeah. Ooh. That's sick. You heard space and time in the lyrics. Gent confirmed, indeed. Yeah, this was really sick. Actually, I like that a lot. The only... I'll shut up for a sec. Not sure what that sample was from. Let me know, Jordan. Uh, but yeah, this was really good overall. Uh, I was about to say it felt a little long because I personally like shorter songs, but I actually don't think that's the case after the song finished. You did a really good job of... One of my favorite things in songwriting is every time a song is like almost at the point where I start kind of like... Uh, losing focus because the part is kind of dragging or going on a little too long every time it almost got to that point you did something different whether it was like there's a new harmony or the snare placement changes or anything just something to change it up to like re-grab my attention really appreciate that and you did that super fucking well the instrumental mix on this was really really good as well uh, I saw some people saying that they didn't think there was like enough guitar or sorry not guitar but enough uh, vocal layering or something like that I think there was actually a lot of vocal layering. It was just the vocal mix wasn't quite as good as the instrumental mix. Because um, the instrumental mix sounded so fucking good that the vocal mix was like noticeably a tiny bit lacking. I think there's definitely enough vocals there. It just needed to be like wider or something like that. If that makes any fucking sense, I'm sorry if it doesn't. Uh, but all that being said, the actual composition and structure of the song was fucking awesome. And... It was great. I I really liked it. This was awesome. Uh, Jordan, sample is recording of who the song is about. It's an I Miss You song to a friend I had a following out with. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, this was sick. Great job, man. I really like, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Tyler, in case your comment got buried, can I send a Dropbox? Unfortunately not. It's got to be uh, on YouTube or Spotify because I won't be able to find it anymore. And yeah, I don't know what in the fuck... Zell is talking about <laughs> uh, just nonstop, and I'm like, I, I don't really understand what you're saying. Um, the reverb got blasted away by the guitars. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. Um, what else we got here? Okay. Next up, we got a Canadian band, I'm assuming, because they sent Canadian dollars. So, hello, to fellow Canadian. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Okay, so this is from Frederick. Thank you so much. Uh, they want us to play Frontiers Timeless featuring novelists, vocalist, I assume. Let's take a listen. It's your Frenchness. That's all good. No worries. I just, uh, am not quite understanding what you're saying is all. <laughs> Jacob Sage on Spotify and YouTube. What are you referring to? Uh, oh, you're talking about your song. Okay, yeah, that's no worries. I was talking to uh, Tyler in regards to it having to be um, on YouTube, so you're all good. <clears throat> From Quebec, what's up? All right, let's take a listen. Frontiers Timeless, featuring novelists. Let's go. The video quality of this looks great. Got that cinematic look. Escape the singularity, I agree. Tons of ambience. And yeah, Tyler, you always appreciate a good visual as well, I feel you. Ooh! 
Getting real low there. Gavin is its full shift visual. Oh, that's the company name, gotcha. I don't know, let's see. Uh, video by Tell Shift Visual. Hey, look at you, Tyler, knowing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grant, yeah, I agree. This video is so fucking good looking. It reminds you of Alt, I can hear that for sure. I love this dude's singing voice. Amazing. At the end? No, it's not. What are they gonna do? Nice. That's a circle head bang riff right there. Ooh, with the pauses, nice, nice. That was a pretty sick outro riff, I must say. Um, yeah, this was fucking awesome. I have no, I don't think I have any critiques for this one. I, I think the whole thing was great. The visuals, the visuals are incredible. I know that's not the point of, of why you submitted this, because obviously you want to hear about your music. But yeah, hiring a good person to make your videos is extremely fucking important, so I always like talking about it. So shout out to, uh, who did you say it was? Tilshift Visuals for doing that? Because it looks amazing. Uh, but the actual song itself, also really good. Absolutely loved that chorus, and you guys have a fuck ton of ambience all over the song, which really fills it out and makes everything sound really interesting. Super cool. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of, uh, fuck, what's the band? Invent Animate, I would say. Um, not quite as, like, shreddy, but in the same vein uh, as them, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no, I have no critiques. This was, this was awesome. I really enjoyed this one. And shout out to fucking Canada, man, for having sick-ass bands. Um, Grant, how much did this video cost? Need to up, up my game? Yeah, I agree. Uh, again, video looked amazing. Fucking really, really well done. Um, what else we got here? Carlos, you need a Spotify playlist of the songs. Yes! Thank you for reminding me. Um, I've been real bad at keeping track of this, but I do have one, which I will add these songs to after this, if I can find it. Did it disappear? What? No, here it is. Okay. So I fucked up and I haven't updated this so far, but I will for today's stream. So if you want to hear these songs again, they will be in the Spotify playlist after the stream. Um, <laughs> Poutine Tabernacle, indeed. Uh, okay, what else we got here? Oh, thanks, Ian. Appreciate you. We'll get to you as soon as possible. We got a lot to go through here. Actually, speaking of, I'm actually going to switch over my screen here so that we don't get more submissions because I want to make sure I can get through all of these in a timely manner today. <laughs> Didn't cost a lot. Oh, that's surprising. Get him while he's, he's affordable because this videographer is going places. 
Um, you love poutine so much. Wish there was more good poutine in the States. Fucking fair enough, my dude. Um, okay. Next up, what do we got here? Uh, we got a short one. Mankind Grief, Dead Sprawl. And they say June 24th is a full album release. So let's get a little teaser of that going on in here. Also, real quick before we do this, I just wanted to mention, in case you weren't aware, Carcosa is releasing a brand new song in under a week. So, on June 8th, brand new Carcosa. Fucking keep an eye out. You can't miss it because I'm going to be posting about it nonstop. But just saying, if you want new Carcosa, you can pre-save that over there. But, with that being said, let's get back to your guys' music first and foremost. Mankind Grief, Dead Sprawl. Let's find this. Where is it? Here we go. Gotcha. Whoa, starts right away. Holy shit. All right. Let's hear it. Oh. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Oh, interesting. Carcosa Australia tour? Dude, I would fucking love to. Hopefully one day. That Bayard is murder style breakdown. Love it. Vocalist is going fucking hard, Jesus Christ. SCP Containment Breach. I don't know what SCP is. Sorry. Are we slowing down? Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll pause it there. Crazy shit. Resident Evil stuff. <laughs> it does kind of look like something for Resident Evil. Crazy. Uh, wait. Did do already? It does look like that. SCP is a whole creepy past a community that has tons of interesting stories. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I am not familiar with that story, unfortunately. Third Eye Visuals did this. That's the person that did all of Alpha Wolf shit. Yeah, they're crazy as well. Crazy shit. That was uh, intense. <laughs> okay. We're gonna move on. Next up we got Vizilla. Long time supporter of the channel. Let's see what you got. Grim. Uh, here we go. One hour ago. We're getting this fucking fresh. Let's take a listen. Stranger Things OST ending. drop synth stuff you're adding in here. Oh, 
Oh, that motherfucker's spitting. We're gonna... Uh... Sorry, Zell, your time is gone. If you can't be nice, don't join the stream. I like the two-step. Always a fan of the two-step. I gotta agree with Tyler on this. Your synth work in ambience is fucking awesome. off the island. I like it. You have been eliminated. Nice. Yeah, so real quick I wanted to note as well. Sorry, I shouldn't have paused it there. Uh, it is worth noting as well that Bazilla is a solo artist, so they did all of this by themselves. Massive fucking props for that. That shit is hard. Super hard to do. Um, yeah, I, like I was saying, I agree with Tyler a lot on uh, this song in particular, that the synths that you added in all the ambient elements were really, really good. Um, for critiques, I have a couple. Uh, I wish that the song was a tiny bit shorter. Like, I think that the chorus repeats a little too many times, in my opinion. It could have done with, like, one less chorus or something like that to just tighten it up a little bit. Um... What else? There was something else I was going to say. Uh, fuck, I don't remember. Maybe it didn't matter that much. Fuck, fuck whatever I had to say. Uh, Yeah, okay, I guess we'll just leave it at that. I, I feel like there was something else, but I'm maybe losing my mind. I think there was just like something spelled wrong on the video or something like that, uh, which again, doesn't really matter to the actual song, but something to keep in mind because as we know on this channel, visuals are important as well. But overall, yeah, this is uh, really good. Um, I enjoy the composition a lot. Just wait, just wish it was uh, a little, a little shorter is all. Uh, we are the resistance. Just subbed to so many good musicians here. Yo, that is fucking awesome. I love to hear that. Tyler, thank you so much. Appreciate you for poutine or something. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, that's uh. That's all I got to say about this one. Next up, we got good old Grant Bowers from the Discord server. Uh, for or sorry, far under ulcer on Spotify. Closing track on your band's debut. In brackets, he says it sucks. So get ready to roast Grant's band. Is what I'm saying here. You know what I mean? Let's take a listen here. Ulcer far under. Let's go. Show me what you got, Grant. Turn down a tiny bit. I have nothing left. I have failed beyond repair. I love that it's copyright 22 booty house records. Fuck yeah. I've 
No problem, Bazula. And yes, I do see more from you, so don't you worry. We'll be back. Blast beats with singing. Blast beats with singing. That's the quote. Blast beats with singing. So I'm on my own. Ooh, your bass tone do be thick though. Black and blue needs to fade away. Just as points on the zoo. Standing alone, thick in the skin. The man I was that you formed. Tyler, I'm there with you. Go beyond your absence. You're no the Ryan Star. I've accepted the arrangement. In you I can't confide. Within me you cannot see. I'll kill it. I'll serve you. I try. Cause the naked truth. Every inch of deception explodes. Ooh. Interesting change up. I wasn't expecting this. Dissonant shit. It's my of you, I am moving forward. Another change up. Was this all a mistake? I definitely hear the uh, Slipknot comparison some of y'all are making. Another fake out. I thought I was going to go into a breakdown there. That's cool. Uh, definitely not what I was expecting. Um, the only thing that I have to critique, and I'm sorry, Grant, you know I love you, uh, the vocal mix in particular, like I noticed when layers came into the song, the vocals got like way fucking louder for only the parts that had layers. Um, and I think the cleans were also louder than the screaming, unless I'm imagining that. The guitarist is in the stream, fuck yeah. Um, yeah, that's the critique I have. The singing was, like, a little... I don't know. It, I couldn't tell, like... It sounded like it was a little out of tune, but also for this style of music, that kind of doesn't really matter, because that's kind of the point, I guess. Or not the point, but, like, it matches the the vibe, if you will. Um, but, yeah, just, the, just those two things. But some of the riffs in this are fucking ridiculous. And it's interesting. You guys are, like, a mix of, like hardcore with a little bit of slipknot and i feel like i'm hearing a little bit of gojira influence in there as well maybe i'm crazy on that but like that end section with the solo like the bass groove you added to that sounded very much like something gojira would do and obviously like the pick scrapes and stuff like that so yeah it was it was cool uh lack of reverb and delay yeah yeah just the vocal mix in general could have been like a little little stepped up but you know for next time now you know, if you even care about my opinion, which you shouldn't. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to do uh, one more, and then I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. But don't you worry, we're going to get to all of you, of course. Uh, Quinn is a... Your guitar son. Oh, you're talking about the vocal technique, gotcha. Uh, that was all done two years ago, and we've just been sitting on it untouched. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, that vocal style, I mean, that's, like, similar to how I do vocals, so you definitely do have to be careful, because you can definitely fuck your throat up if you're not doing it properly, which I have done many times, because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing until, like, recently, and I'm still very new to, like, doing the technique properly, 
Uh, but that kind of just comes with the territory. Just make sure you're taking care of your voice, you know? You only get one voice. Um, all right. What else we got here? We got one from Adam, outsider at Callist. Let's take a listen to that. 69 viewers, nice. Fuck yeah. Okay, Outsiders Callist from Trying to Hold On. Let's take a listen. Already can tell this is going to be an interesting video. Visuals matter, people. Okay, okay. Yep. This is a fucking winner. Jesus Christ. Fucking sick. Ah, and like the slight melody. Never mind, the melody's gone again. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Yo, thanks for tuning in. We are the resistance. Appreciate you. That fucking two step is on point, man. change up like immediately love that yo i think that might be my favorite song of the stream so far that was fucking super sick super super sick i really liked that uh, Adam also said they have an EP dropping next week. So, Adam, you submitted this, so I guess this isn't your band. Maybe you're a French band or something like that. Let me know in the chat if you're still here. But that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was really good. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have anything to say. That was sick. The video looked awesome. The song was sick. Production was fucking great. I liked everything about it. As I was mentioning earlier for that other song... They always had the change-ups going every time. Every time you feel your attention start to slip, even a fucking tiny bit, they change something. Grab your attention back. Love that shit. Um, okay, I'm going to take a very quick bathroom break and be right back. In the meantime, enjoy listening to my band. Yeah. 
Hello, I have returned. Hopefully you enjoyed my band, Carcosa. Um, <laughs> yeah, Adam, uh, again, I saw what you said, that it was just a band in your local area who you like. That's fucking sick. They were, they were dope. Um, and also I saw a bunch of people asking for, to do, do, like, how to find these songs again. So I am going to throw these all in a playlist on Spotify. So if you use Spotify, go ahead and give this, uh, give this playlist a follow. Um, you would do awful things for an Angel Maker Carcosa Australian tour. Hey man, <laughs> we would, trust me, we would. Crypto made simple. Uh, if you're talking about who does the cleans in Carcosa, it's also Johnny. Uh, he does all of all of, all of that. If you check out his channel, he's actually a really good singer as well. Um, Deathcore and Gent are the same thing. Uh, I would not say so personally. I mean, uh, there's definitely Gent influence in Deathcore, as there's Gent influence in Metalcore and every other fucking subgenre of metal now. Uh, but I would not say they are the same. Not to buy a lot, personally. Best band I ever found from this was Strangled, rest in peace. Yes, fuck, I'm so sad Strangled broke up because they were fucking awesome. Uh, anyways, getting back to your guys' music. Next up we got one from Michael V. Ryback. Uh, and the song is called Never Again. A song about war in Ukraine. Fair enough, let's take a listen here. Igor and Mike, independent musicians from Ukraine. Today our country is torn by war. Let's take a listen.
was awesome. Uh, sorry, I wasn't really. I didn't want to talk over this one because of obviously the message, uh, you know, and the context of the song. But yeah, fuck. That one is heavy, uh, literally in the sense of the lyrics and the topic. Um, I thought it was really good. It must be so fucking hard to write lyrics about this situation, which is literally happening right now. So, man, much love to you guys and fucking props for doing this. Uh, yeah, I don't really don't really have uh, anything to to say. I don't I don't know what to say. It's hard to come up with words for something like this, but. Really, really sad situation, um, but you know the song was awesome, and you're doing what you can to help support your friends and family, whether that be through music or or whatever you can do. So it was awesome. Um, and then I do agree with uh, some of the chat uh, was talking about some of the lyrics uh, and how it kind of reminded them of System of a Down. And I agree, both in terms of obviously the song being about a very important message, which System of a Down does quite often, but also just even the musical style in certain parts definitely also reminded me of System of a Down, which is awesome because I fucking love System of a Down. Um, but yeah, man, just just really, really good song, really good message. And again, I'm I'm very sorry this is happening to you and your friends, families, and loved ones. Because this shit is fucking horrible. And uh, like you said in the song, everyone just says never again and shit keeps happening. So seems like the world is fucked and uh, it's not a good feeling. But, you know, you're doing what you can to turn a shitty negative situation into making something that will hopefully influence positive impact. And, you know, what else, what else can you do, right? Like, yeah, I don't know what else to say. All my support, all my love goes to you. Thank you for sending this in, and uh, it was fucking awesome. Um, okay, we're going to move on from that uh, to the next song from Harry Newbery. Uh, it's called Acladian Serpentine. Let's take a listen to that. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's take a listen. What you got? Got the Egyptian vibes strong in this song. No problem, Michael. Hmm, sounds kind of like Lamb of God ish. But with that Egyptian scale, you know? Dragged under vibes, interesting. I can hear that a little bit. Not so much in the vocals, though. Uh, Queenism, I do not have a discount code for that, if that's what you're asking. Jacob, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of Lamb of God influence I'm hearing too. Interesting. I can hear a little bit of Polaris in there too. But like, come on, the Lamb of God influence right there, undeniable. Mm. 
the bass groove. Sounded good. Tasty drum transition. Scriminal, yeah, I agree. With that bass groove section, definitely reminded me of Tool as well. and colors. Ugh. Head banging and looking at flashing lights. Not a good combo. I can't I can't say shit though. I know Kirkus does that shit all the time. See you Tyler, thanks for tuning in for so long. I appreciate you. That was the end. The car bomb videos will kill you. I believe you. Yeah, so I think you guys already know what my first critique is going to be is just that I felt like it was too long personally. Uh, I always say take that with a grain of salt because that is to some degree more of an opinion based thing. I just personally like shorter songs. Um, the songs that are six minutes are like it's pushing my attention span by quite a bit, I would say. Um, I definitely feel like this could have been shorter. I feel like around like four minutes, it was starting to like become a little repetitive to my ear. And I just think it could have been condensed a little bit and it probably would have, you know, kept keep things moving. Vazilla, yeah, you knew exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> it's something I say often, so fucking fair enough. <laughs> Gojira vibes. Yeah, I heard a little bit of Gojira in that, but I was mostly hearing like Lamb of God and uh, what was the other band we were saying while it was happening like Tool or something like that uh, a little bit more of that for me I don't maybe a tiny bit with like a pinch of Gojira in there you know um, okay we're gonna move on to another one from Vazilla Poison Bite let's take a listen take a listen older one oh wow your production got a lot better on the newer stuff Oh, 
the vocals are taking over everything. It's really hard to hear the rest of the song underneath it. What's up, uh, Dendrick? How's it going? Um, yeah, so first of all, your production has gotten way fucking better, because that song we listened to of yours, uh, a little, you know, like 20 minutes ago or whatever, sounded much better than this, um, you know, mix-wise. mix, mix wise. Uh, It's a little hard for me to kind of, like, judge what's going on here, because the vocals especially have, like, so, like, they're so wide that it's, it's literally hard to hear the guitars and drums underneath them. Um... But the good news is it means you're improving a lot because, again, that other song, the mix, sounded way better. So fucking props for stepping it up, man. Good job. Um, What else we got here? Off-topic question, but what drum VST do I use? Uh, I use a mix of uh, Get Good Drums Invasion, and then I also use samples from Buster from Humanity's Last Breath. His studio is called Impact Studios, and I basically use his kick and snare sample uh, layered on top of Impact, or sorry, Get Good Drums uh, Invasion. So that is what I do, more or less. Um, what else we got here? Uh, I think that's pretty much, I think I'm caught up here. What's up, Mike G? How's it going? Um, okay, next up, Gregory, wow, I f- can't pronounce that name, apparently, even though it's obviously uh, pronounceable. Gregory Alexander, fallen by the band Meditator, uh, definitely the hardest to play on the album, the video is on YouTube, okay, cool. So it's a uh, playthrough video, and they're saying it's hard to play. So I think that would be this one, take a listen. Okay. Oh, you love my channel. Thank you. I appreciate that, Mike. And no problem, Adam. Happy to help. Okay, let's take a listen. Meditator Fallen Group Playthrough. They say it's hard to play. So let's see. Let's see what they're doing. What are they up to? What they playing? What they playing that's so hard? I want to see. That sounds hard. It's a six string bass. Crazy. Ooh. I like that change up. Weird change up, okay. Whoa! Oh my god, that singing is amazing. This part is fucking awesome. That chorus was fucking sick. Ah, 
Adam, I was wondering the same thing. I think we, I think I've seen this band before, I'm pretty sure. That sounds familiar. Uh, Crypto Made Simple, I will answer you after this song, just remind me. Because I got a link and a discount code for you. This chorus is so good, what the fuck? That transition riff sounds like something Born of Osiris would do. What the fuck? Was not expecting this. the fuck? Another feel change? Oh, and again? What? Oh my god. That's a triumphant riff. Like, just coming home from... I don't know, something, something triumphant. That was cool. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot happening in that song. The chorus was definitely my favorite part, because, jeez, man, the vocals, insane. Um, yeah, that was cool. I am curious, though, uh, I think it was Adam that mentioned that the band looks like they're familiar. I, th I think, I think so, too. I'm, I feel like they've submitted before. Yeah, okay, they did. Cool. I'm, we're not crazy. We're not crazy. We have seen them before. And I remember being uh, really impressed by the vocalist on this song as well. Um, yeah, that was, that was fucking cool. <laughs> really, really sick. Uh, the only, like... I guess if I was to, to add a critique is that the transitions felt jarring to me, but... I think that's the point so i don't know not really a critique like i think the point of this was just that it kept you on your toes and kept adding new shit uh the transitions maybe could have like eased you into it a little bit but i mean i don't think that was the band's intention so i guess that wouldn't really make any sense so fuck me uh overall sick and yeah vocalist chorus holy shit amazing uh there were gloves yeah exactly i do remember that as well uh, yes, so Roosh, the submissions are closed, sorry, but I'll do another one next month. Um, oh yeah, real quick, someone was asking where I get the tie-dye merch, so I will gladly plug that while you're here, because today is actually, I think, maybe the last day you can buy these. So, I get them through this company called Shibori Threads, I also work with them, so, you know, this is a sponsored message, if you will, uh, but... They currently have a 2022 drop, which has Northlane, Beartooth, The Devil Wars Prada, and Silent Planet. So if you're interested in any of that, go check them out. And also use the code BANA10 for 10% off two or more items. Uh, I wouldn't have said this in this stream, but you asked, so hey, I gotta take the opportunity, right? Um, okay, next up, what do we got here? False Peaks, what do you got for me? Okay, so they say, hey, Andrew, your small project put out a track recently, Instrumental Rock. Would appreciate your take on it. False Peaks, Artificial Intelligence on YouTube. 
uh, false peaks, artificial intelligence. There we go. Let's take a listen, shall we? Instrumental rock. Cool album art. Shameless plug, fuck yeah. You know me. All about those monsters, baby. To be fair, I was asked for that one, but I always shamelessly plug. Who am I kidding? Have you heard of Carcosa, by the way? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That bass tone. That is a thick ass bass. Yo, what's up, Nick? Four thirty AM, what the fuck? Go back to sleep. lost it. I lost the headbang. I found it again. We're good. there. So many feel changes. Oh, that was cool. Oh, cool. We got Naked HD up in the chat. Goodbye, Naked HD. It was nice knowing you. PM me naked HD. False speaks. I'm actually gonna hit them up after the stream, don't you worry. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I really like your guys' album art, by the way. Again, I know, not the point of why you submitted, but always feel the need to shout out the visuals when I think they're cool because it goes underappreciated, in my opinion. Um, this was crazy. The mix on this was really, really good, especially that bass tone was sick. Like, it just sounded so fucking good. Uh, but the draw, like, yeah, I don't know, the whole, the whole mix sounded so good. Where was that one part? Like, even at this slow section, like, man, listen to that bass. Thick as fuck. So cool, so cool. And all the guitar tones were on point as, as well. Um, everything sounded good. Fuck, the drums sounded amazing, too. This is really cool. I haven't really heard, uh, like, a band like this before. I don't even know. I mean, I guess you described it as instrumental rock, but I don't, I don't know. It feels uh, it feels 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 fresh to me. Like I, I don't listen to stuff like this, so it sounds very different and cool. Um, I like it. Uh, false piece. You use artificial intelligence for there. Oh wow, that's fucking crazy. So you used the thing the song is about to make the art for the song. Haha, -ha, that's very cool. Um, and you mixed and mastered it yourself and recorded it. Fuck, crazy. You're a talented person. Very talented. This sounded and looked awesome, dude. 
really, really, really cool. Um, okay, we got another one from Jeremiah Vizilla in the house. I was like, listen, so I think... Uh, let me know, Jeremiah, if this is an older one as well. Looks like it's probably from the same EP as the one we just listened to. I think. Let's take a listen. Yeah, Jeremy's submissions are closed, sorry. But thanks for your interest, I appreciate it. Connected with Poison Bite, I gotcha. Oh, interesting switch up. Yeah, I agree. The guitar tone is really good. Like, the instrumental mix, again, sounds really good. Just the vocals are too wide. Too wide. Yeah, uh, for some reason I feel like the mix on this one was slightly better than the other one, even though I know they're from the same EP, so I'm probably imagining things. But again, yeah, I'm j I'm really happy to see that your newer stuff is mixed better. Like, you have shown a ton of improvement in a very short amount of time, mind you. Like, this was not that long ago, December 2021, like, sounds so much different than that new song that you put out, both in terms of... Uh, the mix quality and the composition you're just you're getting better and it's noticeable so keep it up it's awesome stuff um drop negative six semitones hell yeah that's what i like to hear um i forgot the question is it nolly uh oh you're asking vizilla what he used for his guitar tone i think so vizilla feel free to answer if you want um <clears throat> okay Moving on, we got about eight or ten left, something like that. Uh, next up, we got David Reyes. Greetings, Future Ghost Nemesis game. Let's take a listen and thank you for your submission. Um, okay, Future Ghost Nemesis game. Fourteen thousand views. Okay, okay. No problem, Vizilla. Mm. Nice lead there. 
or not lead, but wrist. Solid bass groove. Mm. Love that ambient lead. Yes, that singing, that push singing sounds so good. That riff is nuts! Very periphery inspired, I think. to color video, interesting. Looks good. Nice. Kept the kept the solo short and sweet. I like that. Pretty fucking good. Uh, we are the resistance. Says that it is their favorite of the stream so far. Glad to hear that. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any critiques really for this one. I think it's not a great. Uh, everything about it was like exactly the length it should be, which I'm a huge fan of. I know I've said that so many times this stream and every stream, but I like that. The guitar solo was nice and tasteful, like it wasn't self-indulgent, didn't overstay its welcome, and it was really, really sick and matched the song really well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have, I don't really have any critiques at all. I, I liked the whole thing. The bass groove verse thing was really cool. A fuck ton of ambience throughout the entire song. A lot of thought and effort went into this song, and it definitely shows. Uh, Michael loves it as well. Micah as well. Vaguely reminds you of Era. Yeah, I can hear some Era influence for sure. Um, yeah, it was good stuff. Ryan Holloway, very yummy song. Hell yeah. All right. Next up, we got Zerbrush. Thank you for your submission. And the song is called Lake of Oblivion by Panzerkunst. Almost made me say a bad word there. Uh, and he says, or sorry, they say, debut single with some Humanity's Last Breath and Meshuga influences. Okay, well, I really like both of those bands, so let's see what you got. Hello? Oh, there we go.
drum change ups are throwing me off. I'm like having a hard time headbanging. The, sn the snare placement is fucking me up. See what Grant's talking about. This is where the Michigan influence comes in for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Um, like Grant just said, it definitely felt pretty long to me. Uh, I know it was under five or under six minutes, but yeah, it uh, you know definitely felt like it was dragging a bit, in my opinion. Um, could have used a lot of condensing, tighten it up. Um, <clears throat> The other thing, as I was mentioning uh, in the during the song as well, is like it almost I don't obviously you guys did this on purpose, but like the snare placement was actually making the song harder to listen to for me. Uh, which maybe that was your 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 objective, in which case fair enough. But for me, like thinking as a listener, like I want a song to have 
a part or parts of the song that are memorable. And it's a lot harder to have memorable memorable moments when things like the snare or other things are like distracting you from from retaining that information because you're kind of just like trying to figure out what the fuck is going on, uh, for lack of a better term. But uh, yeah, so overall, just like more variety in the riffs, less variety in the snare, <laughs> and a little shorter would be a lot better in my opinion. But with that being said, you also said it's your first song ever, so fucking fair enough. Uh, you know, don't take this in, in a bad way. I'm not trying to tell you your shit or anything like that. Just providing what I think would potentially help uh, you make better music. But that's just my opinion. And uh, it's up to you if you agree with me or not. Either way, fair enough. Um, most of the songs I listen to are like 220 max. Yeah, I, I'm kind of in the same boat where I like listening to songs that are like four minutes max uh but long songs can be done well still for sure um you know like i also like between the barrier to me and they have 18 minute songs but they kind of keep you on your toes the whole time you know what i mean um guitar nerds love hard to listen to music true uh if a song is more than four minutes it needs to have some more dynamic changes yeah that's kind of what i'm saying uh okay next up jalen uh Ilias, unscathed by Devolver, it is their most recent song. Let's take a listen. Okay. It's getting right into it. Very August Burns Red-ish. That's that fist pumping fucking Yep Yeah, it sounds pretty awesome. It definitely is like super influenced by August Burns Red. Oh, interesting, Pantera ish. I can also hear that for sure. Um, I did really like that part with like the you know the down the fucking I don't know what to call it. It's not a two step, but the snare on every. I guess it is kind of like a two step, but it's not. It just has that more like fist pump feel. I don't know anything about music. If you guys can't fucking tell, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just saying it sounded cool. <laughs> Um, Kid Naveo, submissions are closed, sorry. No more submissions. Alright, next up we got Jacob Sage. We got two from Jacob Sage. Oh, we got one from Jacob Sage, but you donated twice. Why did you do that? Thank you so much, but why did you do that? Um, Murder Eyes, The Devil's Reign. Let's take a listen here. Also, hello, Jacob. Murder Eyes. Devil's Reign. Let's go. Slam World Vibe. It's like the most sinister looking lobster claw of all time. Kid Naveo, I do one every month, so it will be sometime near the end of June-ish. The Fisting Beat, thank you Adam, you understand me. Tune 4 is a two-step. I agree, but a two-step sounds different than that did but it still sounded good i just don't know what the fuck to call it because i don't know anything jacob because i can and i've been a long time supporter well i appreciate you jacob thank you so much <laughs> the 
This is ignorant as fuck. Is the fucking album called Just Murder Things? Amazing. This is the heaviest track you've ever written, alright. And yeah, I know I've heard a lot of your music before, hell yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, Kid Neveo, I'm sorry, but not this time around. Next time. That slow fucking creep. Oh, shit. Okay. We changed it. Insane. What a roller coaster of a song, agreed. Break your fucking neck. Insane. Speaking of, you take a lot of influence from Slam. One more? No, not one more. You're crowd killing in your basement as we speak. I fucking feel you. I mean, I'm not, but I feel you. That was ridiculous. Definitely the heaviest song of yours I've ever heard by far. Uh, way heavier than, than the other stuff you've shown me in the past. Crazy shit. Uh, vocalist is insane. Low as fuck. Uh, and yeah, so many fucking transitions. Like, they were all over the place, but... Uh, in a, in a, in a way, it kind of worked because I don't know for this style of music, just having those fucked up transitions kind of kind of makes sense in a weird way. Keys was a nice touch. Yeah, I agree, Adam. Uh, will you tell Johnny that he has to tickle? Uh, give me a nickel before I tickle his pickle. I will probably forget to tell him that, but I'm I'm gonna tell you that I'll tell him that, and then probably not actually tell him that. Does that make sense? Probably not. Wait till you hear your shoegaze music. Okay, we're going the whole other direction with the next song. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay. Next up, we got Synth Chris. Hell yeah. Synth Chris music is awesome. Uh, I first heard their music in one of my riff contests. Was it the dice rolling one? Let me know if you're in the chat, Chris. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. And I know that you uh, post in my Discord often, so I appreciate that. Call him my name, Synth Chris. Uh, I think the quotes like fuck it up, maybe. Uh, they don't. I guess it must be this one. Thirty first minute. Yeah, this is right. Cool. Okay. Synth Chris, call him my name. Let's hear it. I remember your guitar tones being nasty, from what I've heard of you on Discord. 
Dice rolling one. Thought so. Yeah, like, listen to that fucking guitar tone. What is that? What is that? Doom tone. The second one... Oh, did I fuck up? Sorry. This one? Gotcha. Okay, we'll restart, we'll restart, we'll restart. Here we go. Ah, gotcha. I understand. I love your logo, by the way. Nice! Okay, okay, Will Ramos, calm down. Chris, is this you doing vocals as well? Let me know. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, dude. Thumb heavy. That is some wild shit. Oh, we got more. I'm in danger. <laughs> that little do 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 do. Come on, man. Love that little synth in the background. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Too heavy. Illegal. Uh, yeah, that was insane. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, I, I don't know if I've ever asked you before, but whatever the fuck you do for your production on Guitar Tones sounds insane. Uh, your guitar tones have been awesome since the first time I heard you, and they're only getting better. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Your production style actually reminds me a lot of uh, Jeff from Jeff Plays Guitar. Like, you go, you guys both have that kind of, like, basically, like, a doom eternal sound to your mix. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it, but it sounds fucking crazy. Grave Loom. Oh, you, oh, I see. For, uh, for Jacob's song. Gotcha. Nice. Fuck yeah. Uh, synth, Chris, thanks for all the positive words. No problem. Thanks for sending it in. And yeah, let us know how the fuck you make your guitar sound like that, because it's evil as shit. Uh, crazy stuff. Okay. Next up, third, or second last song from Ian Sebastian. Uh, probably gonna butcher this pronunciation. I think it's Ignescent with Remnant. Runs of Extortionist. Okay, I can hear that as well. Uh, Ignescent Remnant. Uh, his, their band produced by Cameron Mazel. Okay, let's take a listen. 150,000 views. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bringing back the lead. That's cool. Grant was not expecting it. Me neither. I don't know what to expect. and spells. Hey, what's up, Midnight? This feels like it would be, like, an arena, arena song, if you will. Like, it just has that kind of, again, that, like, this poem vibe, I don't know how else to explain it. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was, I didn't, I mean, obviously I had no idea what to expect because I've never heard this band before, but 
It was cool. It definitely reminds me of something you would hear at like a like a big like metal festival that would really get the crowd hyped. If that means if that makes any fucking sense. Again, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But uh it was cool. The I really wish I could have heard those background vocals a tiny bit more. Uh it sounded like you guys were kind of screaming, you know, a line or two here or there. That would have been cool to hear a little bit more of. Um, but like the actual mix itself is obviously awesome because you know Cameron Re- Cameron Mazzell is a fucking legend, so obviously it sounds good. Feels like a song that would play in the background of a sports cast just coming from a commercial break. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with that necessarily, but I think you're kind of saying what I was saying, where like it feels like more of like an arena themed song. Like it would be played in like more of like a like a metal or rock festival or something like that. Like in a, with a big ass fucking room like it just feels like that kind of song i don't know what that means but i feel like you understand me you know (laughs) you're playing rock fest and incarceration well fucking there you go perfect um thanks for the play excited to be here yo thank you for submitting i appreciate that um okay what else do we got here oh chris was explaining his guitar signal hell yeah thank you chris that's a detailed explanation i'll have to save that for later um, all free plugins too, crazy. Okay, final song of the night from Charlie. No, yeah, Charlie O Yakuza one three eight. Uh, the band is ripped, ripped in two, ripped in two. I see, like ripped in two, and the song is Leech. Uh, they say it is not their band or song. Just wanted to hear what I think. So, let's take a listen, shall we? Ripped in two, Leech, from Slam Worldwide. We're ending heavy, ending heavy, boys. End the night with some breakdowns, let's go. The logo is actually pretty fucking sick. (laughs) Yo, no worries, Zerbrush. Mmm, let's go. Circle Pit, baby. Damn. It reminds you of the 2013-2014 era of Deathcore. I hear that for sure. It's got that rattle. Nice. Preach. 
Yeah, all right. Oof. to kill someone <laughs> I was gonna say when that second breakdown call came in I was gonna be like this seems like a lot for this song but then the breakdown call went pretty hard so it's okay I forgive like come on does that not go hard as fuck where was it one more time Ridiculous. Um, but that's the last song of the night. So thank you all for submitting your songs. It is much appreciated. Um, I do one of these basically around the end or the start of every month, one way or the other, because uh, I always miss it by a day or two. Uh, the little creature dude is cool. Yeah, I agree. Dude, I don't know why the fuck it's reminding me of this, because it probably doesn't look anything like this. But, like, is that not kind of? Kind of. Maybe. Just a little bit. Like a fucking evil Mojo Jojo. Maybe. Anyone? Just me? Just me? Mojo Jojo? Maybe. Anyways, we're uh, gonna end the stream with that. Thank you all so much for sticking around watching. Again, uh, I will put all of the songs from today's stream on this good old Spotify playlist. If you have Spotify, go check them out after this. They'll be up there pretty soon. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say. So again, thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate you sending in your monies and having me judge you. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. <laughs>